hey loves and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to learn how to make a smooth detail i know that a lot of people might have been thinking of how to make this to look smooth so in today's video i'll teach you guys how to do it without a gum stay or a paper stay or any form of stay we are not going to use bone in as well so i'll teach you guys how to achieve this with a crino line so it depends on how wide you want yours to be so this is the crino line that i'll be using i went to the market i was actually looking for a four inches or five inches wide crino line but i couldn't find it so i had to buy this one so this is the satin that i'll be using for this we know that if you add um a hard stay or a paper stay to satin it will rumple so i measured it i have 16 inches wide uh but mine and unfold the 16 inches unfold to give you eight inches right so the crino line that i bought is eight inches um the crino line that i bought is um eight inches wide oh sorry it is six inches wide so but the detail that i want to make is five inches wide but i'm going to do everything then i'll reduce it to the five inches that i wanted so the crino line that i bought is not that strong if you are lucky to find a very strong crino line fine but since mine is not that strong i'll go ahead and fold it into three you can see what i'm doing right now i will fold it multiple times then i'll go to my sewing machine and hold it down with a stitch on both sides so after doing that it will help me to achieve a stronger crino line so if you count i have three layers here so i have run a stitch on both sides and you can see it is firm now and it is thicker so i will have to cover this fabric I'll have to cover the crino line with this fabric. So what I'll do is that I'll first of all hold this crino line down on one side of the fabric. Because this fabric, this detail that I want to use, I want I don't want it to have joinings on both sides. I want it to have only one joining. So the other side will be clean and smooth. I don't want to join it at the upper part. So I'll go ahead and place this crino line at at one edge of the fabric and then i'll go ahead and hold it down with a stitch so i'll come back and show you guys so i am done running a stitch on it and i will cut off the excess thread that i have i'll also go ahead and cut off the excess fabric that i have i'll cut off the excess fabric so right now i will go ahead and fold this fabric like i told you guys i don't want this fabric to have joining on two sides so this is how i will fold it i will go ahead and fold this fabric over to meet the other end or if if you are folding please fold so that the fabric and the crino line will have the same length the fabric is eight inches on fold why the crino line is six inches on fold so i'll go ahead and make the fabric and the crino line to be six inches so this fabric is on fold remember so i will go ahead and cut off the excess fabric that i have right there and i don't want the side of this crino line to be straight i want it to be slanted so i will use my chalk and mark the slants first of all i will pin down this crino line and the fabric so that it will not be shifting so i'll pin at each end and i'll pin at the center as well So I'll go ahead and cut off the excess fabric that I have. Right now, the fabric is 6 inches on fold. And the crino line is also 6 inches wide. So everything uh, aligns now. So I'll go ahead and slant 
the two edges because i told you guys that i don't want them to be straight like this so i'll go ahead and slant them i'll go ahead and slant so first of all i'll use my chalk to mark it before slanting so this is the shape of the slant that i want it to have at the two edge at the two edges so i'll go ahead and run a stitch right there so i am done running a stitch that you can see it i'll go ahead and cut off the excess Remember our fabric is on fold and I did not run any stitch at the other end. So right now I'll go ahead and remove my pin and fold it out. You can see I did not run any stitch on the other side so I'll go ahead and fold it out. So using this method you don't need to add any interface to your fabric to make it stand it will stand firm and the fabric will not be rumpled you know that interfaces can make your fabric rumple but this one will be very smooth so you can use this um mainly on akara and satin fabrics so i'll go ahead and iron it very well so i am done ironing you can see my crino line i did not run any stitch at the upper parts where people will be seeing there is no stitch on it you can see it is very clear so right now i will measure the length that i want the wideness so i want i told you guys that i want it to be five inches wide so i'll go ahead and run a stitch there and after running the stitch i'll go ahead and cut off the remaining part so right now the wideness is five inches so I'll go ahead and cut it off. So I am done cutting and this is what I have. So at the end of the day, just iron it very well. Then you can go ahead and manipulate it. You can use it to achieve any shape you want to achieve. You can fold it anyhow you like. And it will not bend. It will not fold. Because the crino line is very, very strong. So no matter how you fold it, it will still stand very, very firm. So if you want, you can use 2 inches um you can use four inches wide crino line you can use the 10 inches if you can't find the strong one just double the one you have and it will give you the thickness that you want so you can see how i'm folding it and once i remove my hand everything will unfold and you can see the shiny face is okay it is not around pulled so this is the end of our video feel free to recommend feel free to comment on my comment section feel free to tell me the videos that you guys want to be seeing from me and please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and please share so that more people can get to see my videos thank you guys so much thank you for supporting and see you in my next video bye